You may be seeing their red packaging everywhere, especially for Valentine's Day. But did you know Sarah's candies all started with a guy who wanted to impress a girl he was head over heels for? Yeah, we're going to get the story right now. Daisy Jade sits down with Athena Sarah Sims to reveal her family's sweet love story. We want you to feel like a kid in a candy store. Rows and rows of candy, an old fashioned ice cream parlor, a chocolate castle. And for Athena Saris, she literally was that kid in the candy store. The granddaughter of Frank Saris and daughter of Bill, she has been surrounded by the candy business her whole life. I knew I wanted to work for the business. As soon as I got out of college, there was never anything else that I wanted to do. Saris loves being a part of annual holidays and family traditions, but also family outings as well. This is where you could come as a destination, bring your kids, spend an afternoon, browse our candy store, we have a bulk showcase, take a picture in front of our chocolate castle, and then have some ice cream as a family. It really is a destination. And to think it all started from one man wanting to impress a girl. He wanted to give her a box of chocolate, and she was excited, but he thought, if this is the best that there is, let me let me try to do, let me try to do better. So he started by buying some books on making chocolate and making it in the basement of his home. Thank goodness that my grandfather decided to um, quit his forklift operating job and decided to make candy full time. Now it may have been Frank's love for a girl that started it all, but it's the love for family that is the heart of this business and keeps it going strong today. Even the employees are family, some working there for over 40 years. That amount of loyalty you don't always, you don't see it that often. We are a family owned business and we do treat our employees like family. And they are especially grateful for the family they call Pittsburgh. There's people that move away from Pittsburgh to different states and they will order candy every year. And maybe they'll send us a little note, which we love to see in the comments. When you email us a comment, um, you know, they are read every day by a family member. Their love letter to their customers? We are grateful for you and we are just humbled by your loyalty to our brand and our product. And please let us uh, continue with your family traditions. That is so interesting. I had no idea. Yeah, it was all about impressing her and trying to come up with better chocolates. And I love all the old black and white pictures. What a great story. A really good throwback. Well, Sarah's Candies is open, by the way, until 9 p.m. this evening. So if you have any sweets that you'd like to pick up before the end of today, because you know today, kind of an important day, uh -huh. uh, you still have time. And you can always find more information at PittsburghTodayLive.com.